Oh no, Jennifer! Alright, let's talk about Jennifer Joe. I just got three things to say. God bless our troops. God bless America. And gentlemen, start your engine! Monday, NASCAR made headlines by announcing that Jennifer Jo Cobb, who was previously announced to make her cup debut with Rick Rear Racing, driving the number 15 at Talladega Super Speedway, NASCAR announced that, no, we're not going to do that. They decided that to axe those plans and say that Jennifer Jo was not approved to run for at Talladega, which caused kind of a more mixed reaction than what I was thinking. Bob Pockers of Fox Sports said that NASCAR based their decision on the following things. Based on performance and quality, NASCAR has been more stringent with recent cup, cup approval. Sorry, she was, she, she was years ago okayed for cup, but if don't run the series for a year, she must be reapproved. This was not the decision to not approve her was not a result of the Richmond incident with Norm Benning, where Jennifer Jo Cobb went out of her way to intentionally wreck Norm and then was subsequently parked for that move at Richmond. NASCAR says that move didn't really have anything to do with it. I don't know if I believe that or not. <laughs> I, uh, I literally texted my mom when that happened. I said, yeah, she ain't gonna run Talladega after that one. And... Here's the thing, and this might ruffle a few feathers, but I agree with NASCAR on this one. Um, Jim Utter, Jim Utter po put it really well, posting her stats on Twitter and saying, yeah, she doesn't need to be in the Cup Series. And I get why people are upset about it. It sucks to see somebody not get approved. And then it's kind of embarrassing for them to be kind of put on blast when NASCAR comes out and says, yeah, they're not going to be approved after getting a sponsor and all that. And that's all, it all sucks. Like, getting a sponsor in NASCAR is really tough. That sponsor might not come back now that Jennifer Joe's not going to be able to race on Sunday. But that doesn't change the fact that NASCAR made the right decision. And making your cup debut is one thing. But making it at Talladega, driving for Rick Ware Racing, which is... I'm not going to throw Rick Ware under the bus, but they are known for being the slowest cars on the racetrack. It's dangerous at talladega where they're going the fastest the cup cars go and it's just not the smartest idea especially with no practice no qualifying no nothing now people have pointed and said well harrison burton is making his debut at talladega he's not driving for rick Ware racing he's driving for gaunt brothers racing which is probably going to be a ignore the cat in the background is probably going to be a subsequent joe gibbs racing car and he's had success at super speedways. Jennifer Joe Cobb has too. But again, she's driving for Rick Ware Racing. I keep hyping up the fact that it's Rick Ware Racing. Well, I mean, let's go back to Daytona. Derek Cope almost murdered half the field. And I'm not joking when I say that. He almost murdered half the field in the Daytona dual race. And at that time, people were up in arms, as they should be. He was pretty much parked on the racetrack. I believe it was the last lap of one of the duels. And... He was parked on the racetrack with these cars coming at 200 miles an hour and nearly Kevin LePage the field, but worse, he, he could have died. There are people in the race that probably could have died. It, it's not safe. It's not safe. And honestly, it brings a question about who, what kind of cars should we be allowing at super speedway races? And I think that emphasizes the point of practices and qualifyings at these racetracks to figure out Who's going to even have a fast car? Because, I mean, and stuff. I'm not, I don't want to rain on the lower funded cars parade. They have a place in NASCAR. I'm not saying they shouldn't be here. But it's also, they shouldn't be slow enough to the point where it's a constant question of, are they going to cause the big crash at Talladega or Daytona? And I know that sounds mean, and maybe it is. But it's just, it's the fact of the matter of the situation. And you look at a situation like Derek Cope and you wonder, is the same thing going to happen with Jennifer Jo Cobb, who does not have any experience in the Cup race car? Granted, Derek Cope had been away from the series and he, and he had practice and that still happened. 
Jennifer Jo Cobb's never driven, driven a cup car in her career. It hasn't had much success in lower funded equipment in the truck series, and that's no fault of her own. She's up against a lot of more funded teams. But if you're going to make your debut in Cup, I think it's smarter to do it at literally any other track besides Daytona or Talladega. It's just the fact of the matter. It's um, I'm not trying to be mean to them because they have a spot in the sport, but it's just it's dangerous. I agree with NASCAR on this, and and again, this is kind of another point of my video here is the fact that it's been kind of a mixed response. I've seen people obviously very upset with this move saying, oh, you let so-and-so race, you let so-and-so race, blah, 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 why can't you let Jennifer Joe race? She's raced in the trucks for years. But there's actually been a good response from, there's been, a, I would say probably about, I don't know if I'd say 50-50, but maybe 70-30, where there's been another group that said, okay, cool. Let's make it more strict to run in the NASCAR Cup Series. And you know what? I agree with that. It's the NASCAR Cup Series. It's supposed to be the highest form of motorsports. And I know Formula One fans and IndyCar fans are going to say, oh, it's not the highest form of motorsports. But it should, it should be treated as such. And we shouldn't just allow anybody who has a paycheck or a nice big sponsor to come in and buy a ride. It shouldn't be like that. And then go around and ride and 35th and nearly kill a bunch of drivers it's not okay and i'm glad nascar is stepping up now the thing that i'm going to be kind of critical about nascar about is can they be consistent about this ruling is if jennifer joe cobb's not allowed is the same scenario going to be applied to some other driver that's only made a couple of starts in the xfinity series and all of a sudden buys a cup ride and wants to start at Daytona in the summer. Is he going to be allowed? Or is the, are they going to be allowed? Who knows? I hope NASCAR remains consistent about this because it's something where... And I don't have a problem with field fillers. I think guys like BJ McLeod do a great job. They stay out of the way. And occasionally, they have really good runs and are slowly making their team better and better each and every year. But then you got guys that come in here, guys and gals, that come in here and are just off the pace. You won't see them next week because the sponsor only signed up for one race. And they nearly destroy half the field, which is a lot of money. And I just, I got a side with NASCAR on this one where it's the right call to not allow Jennifer Joe in the race. And I hope that they are more consistent about it. That's my biggest thing about this is I want more consistency from NASCAR because I think that's the biggest thing that they can be at fault about is when they are consistent and when they aren't consistent and I think that's a big thing in a lot of sports leagues if you really pay close attention to all of them is consistency and I really want that consistency from NASCAR because that's a pet peeve of mine but again that's my opinion I'm really intrigued to hear what you guys think let me know in the comments down below hope you have a great day be sure to like this video, subscribe, like our Facebook page, Black Hat Sports. Follow us on Instagram at Black Hat Motorsports. Follow us on TikTok at Black Hat Sports. And yeah, what do you think of Jennifer Joe? Should she race or shouldn't she be allowed to race at Talladega? I want to hear your thoughts. Have a good rest of your day. Thanks for watching.